Hi guys, hope you're doing all well. In today's video we've got from JST Bamboo's signature VST. So we start with the intro, doing quote tracking here, so I'll solo four tracks. <laughs> So um, I'm using the first and I'm um, basically with that again around five just to kind of get like a crunch effect on the guitars. And then as you can see the EQ in there, um, minimal drive and then a cool trick that I've used on the intro and the chorus basically when there's like loads of guitars changing the mic or some of the EQ or even changing the guitars with different pickups just so you get a better stereo with basically on your on your tracks so i'll show you before and after and solo the the guitars <laughs> Also, we've got a lead guitar in here. I'll solo the lead guitar. I use for the lead guitar all the effects actually, so I've used the stereo delay, or like a kind of ping pong, very cool for lead. Also, uh, rotary just gives some more thickness to the lead tone that it cut, actually cuts better on the mix, and then minimal reverb just in case not to get too too muddy. And then the whole intro in context. Also, we got some cool stuff going on in terms of scenes and pads, so I'll solo them quickly. Rotary organ. We've got a, I call it like bass destroyer. It's like a very low synth actually, but I think it works pretty well in terms of uh, giving some extra low end. lead synth basically is playing the same stuff that the lead player, um, the lead guitar is doing, so I'll show you now. You can see that it gives like an extra thickness, um, it also adds some um, harmonics and different frequencies, so and the whole thing sounds like this. Right, before we start with the verse, um, I wanted to say that this VST is very versatile because it works with my four guitars with different outputs and different pickups so and I think it's like very a lot of different textures to the whole mix so um, I'll start with the clean guitars I'll solo both of them <laughs> show you the effects so for the clean a very low gain 
Um, I just wanted to get like a very like crispy kind of single coil sound. Um, I changed the the mics here, and then for the rotary guitar, I actually use the rotary faith. Or well, actually use the three of them. Um, even though lower gain here, and then the whole thing sounds like this. some cool effects on the verse because there's like loads of space on that verse um, so I've used a tremolo guitar um, with some scenes so you can kind of understand the whole the whole effects all together <laughs> The idea, yes, you cannot give some like some movement, some excitement on the verse. And I also use some palm mill guitars on the verse. <laughs> Okay, to go into the pre-chorus now, uh, I'm doing quad track again with the high gain guitars, so I'll solo the four of them. <laughs> so um, I've used for the high gain guitars my two guitars with humbuckers and for the bass guitars, as you could see in the video, the kind of low output slash like single call guitars. Um, so I've used way more gain compared to the verse. Um, I reduced the bass. This was quite important actually, just to kind of um, reduce the lower frequencies and all the muddiness with the distorted guitars. Uh, and then we got some clean guitars just before the chorus. So I'll solo both of them. And then that's a very nice opportunity just to kind of use the three of them. So I've used stereo, reverb, and rotary just to give some like texture, some ambience to the guitars. And I also use some more synths, of course. Actually, I get some, some even more scenes. So all together, it sounds. add some extra aggression with some different scenes and paths so you see here for example on these sort of guitars some the rotary organ again and the, my bass destroyer scenes so I'll solo that as well and last we've got the chorus so quad guitars again I'll solo the four of them, there we go. So I'm using pretty much the same the same preset as the pre chorus, so it's the same thing. Um I lead the same same patch, basically the same preset. So loads of gain to add some sustain. Um, 
I've scooped the, back, the base frequencies again for the same issue because I didn't need like lots of low frequencies for a solo or some tapping. Um, all the effects and all in context sounds like that. thing. There you go. Sounds pretty cool. And also just to that's the last thing. Also, of course, just to add some more extra stuff on top of the guitars. Yes, you add some more excitement on the mix. Okay, and there you go. So that was it. So I really hope that you learn a couple of tricks here and there, and then that you enjoyed the clip and the tutorial. So um, I'll see you guys soon.